violence are corrupt and therefore the people don't get the basic and living things they need. We should raise awareness of the global issues that are happening around us. Propagating the idea of helping people that don't have as much luck as we have. We ourselves are quite lucky and I think it's important that we recognise that and uh, try and create that luck for other people and create a better situation for them as well as ourselves. I think everyone in this world should be equal and by helping the developing countries we are therefore raising their standards of living as well as ours and progressing into a more brighter future. Um, I think it's good to help underprivileged people because it helps to create opportunities for them to have a better life and um, by helping them it's, it's, it, it's kind of good for you as well because you're helping others. As a developed country we have a, a sense of unity with these countries. We're all human, we're all born into the same world but in different places, in different times, in different economic states and things like this. So I think we have a sort of a duty to help these people get to the point where we're at in the world. Yes, I do, because in today's modern world, we are now not just a group of countries, but a global community. And so in that sense, developed countries have a moral responsibility to invest in developing countries, both economically and from a humanitarian stance, so just so that we can not only maintain human rights for all, but so that we can grow globally. I think it's very important for us to come to the developing countries so we can help in first hand and so they can see how much we care about them and help them in the local community. Open your eyes. I think it's very important for us to come to help because we can participate in local activities and help the, in their economy. Well, I think we have, it's our responsibility. I think it's ridiculous that in the 21st century some people aren't born with the same opportunities and the same basic human rights that everyone has, that everyone should have. And I think we are all born and we kind of want to help others. It's kind of biological even. We all, we all are the same. So I think it's built into us that we want to help out and we want to give and we want to see people grow. And, and I think we can help by not just giving and giving, but by creating bonds and uniting cultures and countries and people. We can open their minds to new things and to other points of view that they couldn't have otherwise. And uh, they sometimes get really shocked when they see things that we are used to see all the time. It's kind of like play football, get playing football and I don't know, I think we can really help them to go farther away in their way of thinking. I think that as a student from a more developed area we have the moral obligation to allow others to get more opportunities to help them succeed in life. Well I think we should help undeveloped countries because it opens our mind in every aspect and uh, it shows us how lucky we are. Uh, yeah, I think we should help developing countries since, after all, we're all equals and we should always help each other, especially those that mostly need it. Okay, well, I believe developing countries should be helped by people from developed countries because people that have been born in developed countries have been born with the chance to succeed with good education, with good health and having a good start of life but then people from developing countries are brought up without having a choice in a place that is not as good and that doesn't give them the chance to succeed as much as they want and get as far as they want. The more economically developed countries should head to their countries because it's the morally correct thing to do. They should support them in areas where they lack in development, just to boost up their economy, basically. We have a lot of what they don't have at all. Like yesterday we gave the kids in ASNI sweets and they were really, really happy with them when we can just go buy them in the supermarket. So I think that we should definitely help them by giving them everything that we can. We help them personally, like we've helped them, like we socialise with them, we've come here, we've help them 
grown plants, grow trees, grow everything that will help them, their economic and everything. And I mean, we're, we've helped them so that we've come here and we've left it as a better place so that they can then remember us and years, next years on, they can come and do the same thing that we've done. Because we shouldn't take what we have for granted and we should help each other expand and develop as one. Because it helps us to develop our cultural understanding by adapting to their manners and communicating with them. Because we don't, we don't choose where we're born and we're all equal and everyone has the right to have an education, to have um, freedom of speech um, and I think that's why it's really important we come and help them. Visiting their country because some people are less fortunate so they need our help with money and um, hands-on aid as well but also because we can get stuff out of it because we can learn about new cultures and new rules. The, the least we can do is provide them with the basic needs that we take for granted and plus we get a cultural experience of the difference between where we live and where they live. I believe through personal experience that um, we've basically learned more from the local people from Morocco than they've learnt from us, seeing as we've been taught spiritual and emotional qualities and they've learnt about knowledge, so we've exchanged things and this allows us to help them. Peace and love everyone, we are all brothers and sisters, so help each other and develop together. I don't think it's fair on others and to be honest, I think everyone should be able to have the even amount of resources so everyone could experience their lives fully. It's good because it creates opportunities for them to arise from their current situation and um, it doesn't just help them but it also helps the global community as a whole. The world is like a big family where um, big countries are the parents and small countries the children and for that reason big countries should help small countries. I think the meaning of having a developed world isn't just about economic power and growth. I think it's being able to live in peace and harmony with different people from all different places of the world and different backgrounds and different mindsets and to be able to respect and appreciate them. And us developing the less developed countries isn't just about what we can do for them but how they can help us. It's not just about the IQ. It's also about the SQ and the EQ, the spiritual quotient and the emotional quotient that can help us to get a much better world.